The Underground Railroad is the term used to describe the secret meeting places, the passageways, and the routes enslaved Africans used to escape slavery on their way to freedom in the North and to Canada. Harriet Tubman, a former slave and abolitionist, personally guided more than 300 individuals to freedom, becoming one of the most well-known conductors. Hidden codes in quilts carried messages that helped guide enslaved Africans on their way north to freedom. A monkey wrench was also the name of one of the slaves that was the blacksmith in the plantation. If displayed on a fence post or on a clothesline, would tell the slaves that it's time to get your tools ready. Many of the slaves escape through hidden compartments in the wagon. So if this quilt were displayed on a fence line or a clothesline, that would mean a wagon will be coming soon. Bear's trails were very instrumental in helping the slaves go from the south to the north. When they came to a bear trail, they were encouraged to follow it because bears need food, bears need water, just like the slaves would. They say that at one safe house, a woman walked up and down the stairs all day long carrying a clothes basket. There were a few articles of clothing on the top, but underneath were supplies for the runaways that were hiding up in the attic. If they would see this log cabin quilt on a fence line or a clothesline, the slaves would know then that this was a safe shelter, a place that they could come for refuge. It reminded the slaves that they needed to vary their routes. If someone were chasing them, they shouldn't go in a straight line. They needed to kind of curve and take a, a staggered look and maybe even um, come back around just to try to throw them off their, the trail so that they wouldn't get caught. A few things we know about geese. They are loud when they fly. Honk, honk, they make a lot of noise. And so that would be a good time for the slaves to be running through the forest because they wouldn't have to worry about being so quiet. After the slaves had been wandering through the forest, their clothes would be tattered and dirty. And so they needed to know that there were places that they could go to get new clothes. This quilt is done in the colors of the rainbow. Many of our slaves, when they were escaping from the south to freedom in the north, would go by boat all the way into Canada. And so this just represents they might be traveling by boat. On a dark night, if the slaves got turned around, this would remind them to look to the sky and look for the North Star. This means movement. Need to get ready. Either a wagon or someone will be coming to help you go from the south to the north, from slavery to freedom. <laughs>